Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hear a lot of people talking about talking about where we emerged from. So I'ma shout it out loud. I trust you all doing well. Today's tutorial is going to be about yarn braids, and this is the type of yarn that I use. It's called the Brazilian wool. I use the same type of yarn in my first follow-up video, and someone asked me if I could use the same um, yarn to do braids. So this video is a requested one, and most of you guys were finding it difficult to get this brand in your country but from what I've noticed is that this type of wool is sold everywhere but for Nigeria I'm sure you can get it there and Ghana it's everywhere they have it in different colors blue, white, blue, red, brown other colors you can get it here so if you are in any other country aside Ghana and Nigeria then I'm sorry you can't get this type of yarn. But um, I promised to do a giveaway when I reached 1K and I'm um, 1K. So I don't know the type of product to get for you guys. So I was wondering if you would like me to get you some of this yarn. Like those of you who can't get it but you still want to um, try your hands on how, how it is. Um, I was planning on sending you some, so for the whole lot I used six bundles and then for this tile I bought five bundles and I used four and a half, so this is the remainder of the price. But anyone that wins, I will contact the person and ask which color that you want so that I will go buy for the any color that you want. I'll get it for you. And then my first straight crochet video also. With the ultra mechanical hair, you can't get it. As for the ultra, it's only Ghana. Like they have ultras around in other countries. But the particular one that I use, that's this label. You can get it only in Ghana. So if you want me to send out this type of hair too, I will. And for the um, straight crochet with you, the cardigan hair. I use just a pack, but to be on the same side, I'll send out two. Same applies to this hair, you can get it in various colors. So, anyone that wins, I will contact the person and ask which color that you want to get it with it. And my kinky hair, also, I realized you can't get the hair, <laughs> also. So, that's this hair, look so. So with this look, with this um, hair, when I use it in the kinky video, I use two packs, but I couldn't finish off with this the remaining of the two packs. But to be on the safer side, I will try and send out three packs. So um, in all, I'll have three different types of hair to send out. But that's to your preference. If you want me to use this product as a giveaway, just let me know in the comment section and I'll go get the product for you. Other than that, if you don't want any of this, I will try as much as possible to think of what to say, think of what to use for the giveaway. So, as I said, I bought five packs, um, five bundles of this. I bought four blacks and one bread. <laughs> I like bread per se, but it's like wine color. Whether I cut the hair for each. Twist. I use 12, um, 12 strands. So this is one strand. So I use 12 of these for each twist. And then I went ahead to add some hair accessories in order to make it nice. I don't want this intro to be too long. So um, I'll leave you guys to watch the tutorial and I'll see you guys all at the end of the tutorial. Make sure you watch to the end because there will be more information. So as you can see, I've already started um, braiding the hair and to the front. Um, so this is the close-up of the braid. So each twist contains. 
couture strands of this hair. So I'm gonna demonstrate and show you. I know when most of them are braiding, they cross it like this, like that doesn't work for me. If I do it that way, I'm not able to braid my roots very well. So I just leave it straight like this, then insert your, your two fingers in between it like this. So free your hands, two fingers inside like this. And then you throw it to your back. And you want to make sure that you're holding your hair very tight. If you can't grip your roots tight, I would advise you to use a rubber band to hold it first before you start braiding. I don't have rubber bands around, so I'll try my best to hold my roots as tight as I can. Um, hold your roots and put the hair on like this. And you want to measure if both sides are the same. Okay, so in my case, this one is a little bit longer than this, so I'll adjust it to fit. Okay, so it's good. And in order to um, secure my roots, I'm gonna wax it. The hair like this, just once. And then you start to do three strand braid first before we twist. And then begin to twist. The trick with twisting is that you have to twist the hair, like twist them across. That's the trick to twisting. If you just do it like straight, straight, straight without twisting, the braids will be loose and it won't last. So you want to make sure you twist, then you cross. Twist, then cross. Twist, then cross. Twist, then cross. That's all you need to do. So let me give you a close up. Twist, cross. Twist, cross. And you want to make sure you repeat in the same steps till
and I hope I gave you any information that you need to know. If I forget to say something, just let me know in the comment section down below. Oh yes, um, it took me seven hours to braid this hair, including resting because I had to braid it, I had to braid something. So it took me seven hours to get this done. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, please click on the red button down below to subscribe and then make sure you click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. And if you are an old subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with me to this far and thank you guys all for letting me reach the one k and yeah, just give me all the support guys. Just keep on supporting me. I really really appreciate it. So, so make sure you leave me comment if you want me to use any of the hair that I show as a giveaway. Um, yeah, and it will be international giveaway. So anyone can participate. It's not only Ghana, not only Ghana, everywhere. Because I've noticed that most of my viewers are outside and they are the ones struggling to get all the product that I use in my tutorials, and I feel bad for that. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys all for watching and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and stay tuned for more hair tutorials. Bye!